Hello traders, in today's live trading session video, we're going to be looking at what are the three stats you must have to help you achieve consistent performance and how they can help you know how much move is left on a probability basis upon point of entry. This and more in this trading video. Hi traders, thank you for joining the Master the Markets team in our live trading session video today and supporting us in our mission to spread the truth of trading and help you achieve consistent performance. It is still up on here, founder of Master the Markets, Literary's Conference and the Traders Open Day. So here we are traders with the Smart Money Indicator Elite version on loaded on trading view on the GBP USD, as you can see with all the stats over here. So firstly, I just want to run through a very quick overview of the three stats that you must have. And then the upcoming videos in this video series will go into detail. So let's take a look first of what the three stats are. Let me just bring that up very quickly. So over here, as you can see, the first stats that you do need to know is how much move is left upon point of entry. Now, this is a very, very important must-have trading statistics because traders, it is on the exits, it's on the exits that you make your money. Either you realize your profit or your loss. Okay. So every time upon point of entry, wherever you enter on the chart, you must know how much move is left left okay so let me go and take a look at this over here on the chart so how do we keep our point of entries consistent so the first step that you need to do is keep your points of entry consistent now how we do here as taught by the institutional quant traders and our 12 years of collated research and our 38 years of cumulative experience here at master the markets if you're enjoying this video go ahead and smash that like icon if you haven't joined our channel yet, click on the subscribe button and hit the bell icon so that you get notifications immediately when we post up quality content like this and especially to get our live trading updates sent directly to your phone. What we do is, how do we keep this point of entry consistent is that we actually quantify our tops and bottoms first, okay? That's what we do first. Upon quantifying our tops and bottoms, we know which is the bar, the bar with the dot over here that you can see on the diagram is our confirmation bar, which confirms this bottom or this confirmation bar, which confirms this top, okay? So that's how we keep our point of entries consistent okay so once we got our point of entry consistent traders and on a consistent quantified basis because of our tops and bottoms quantified we can then get this open equity table now in this open equity table it tells me how much move is left upon point of entry on a probability basis so i can see that every time when the dot comes on 406 sample over here, which I've done over 15, 20 years, which you can easily do over the settings tab over here on the OE. I can select the period and I can then let it um, find the stats for me. So you can see over here, it's checking over 406 tops and bottoms on a daily time frame here. And it's telling me that 348 of them or whenever there's a dot, whenever there's a confirmation, travel more than 25 pips, 85% of the time. Then 50% of the time, they travel 125 pips. And then finally, 20% of the time, they travel more than 300 pips. Okay, so that's the first stats you must have. And that's what we've done over here on a quantified basis over here at Master the Markets. So that's your first thing, okay? How much move is left? And this is what we call technically, institutionally, is called open equity, okay? Open equity. That's what that um, refers to. Now, you can also find your open equity stats also in rather in pips or points or whatsoever in ATR as well and also in percentage basis. And also the good thing is you can also do it over any instruments. Here, I've just given you some examples here. You can also do it over the Dow Jones as well. And you give you this open equity table, Brent oil as well. You can do it over any commodity, any uh, index literally any instrument that you want on TradingView over 50, 60,000 instruments. 
that is the first stance that you must have your open equity stance. Okay, how much move is left upon point of entry? For those of you who are unsure of any of the terminology or the concepts in this video, watch our free Trader Starter Pack 5-day video course as shown in Empire Cinema. It is educational, entertaining and covers basics and advanced content with cross-transferable principles for trading and investments. It pertains to both beginners and intermediate traders, all dedicated towards helping you achieve consistent performance. Go ahead and register for it on the link below. Now, the second thing, traders, that you must have, the second stance that you must have is not only knowing how much move is left, but the second one is how does it move to get to my target, my open equity point, okay? So from the point of confirmation, how does it move? Does it move straight, you know, or does it, you know, um, move up a little bit and then comes back down and then after that moves back further up? Okay, so this is what we technically call, in other words, when we say, how does it move? Basically, all we are saying is, how much does it, you see, from point of entry, how much does it move against me? Basically, below that blue line of point of entry, how much does it move against me before going to my target over here? Okay, that's what we want to find out. And this is what we call, technically, we call maximum at first excursion okay so that is the term that we are looking at so over here on the maximum adverse excursion we can do that as well over here we can choose the mae and then we choose less than or equal to sign over here because that's for mae that was what makes sense over there and then after that then you can see that you know 80 percent of them move against you 100 pips and then if you want to increase it increase your reliability 95 percent of them travel against you 150 pips and so on so forth okay that's the mae number that you can get from the smi and you can do this across any time frame too i can do this across even uh, four hour and it will start to populate that i can do across one hour as well so any time frame you can do it so that's not a problem at all okay so that's the thing over there on the mae so that's your second stance that you must have and then finally traders the last stance that you must have is how long how long does it take to get to your target and that is what we call time so based on this time factor then you can either trail your stop loss tight or consider to exit live and you can get that stats also over here as well and i can just select time two and then under time two and then i can select let's say on a daily time frame i can just increase the columns uh, start at one and and increase it by one and then after that i can then see towards the target of let's say 100 pips i want to find out and i can click on okay and it will tell me immediately within a second it tells me that within four days it will get to my target of 100 uh, pips in this gbp usd on a daily time frame remember you can do this across any instrument as i said you can do this across any instrument at all and also across any time frame also so there you go traders these are the three stats that you must have remember at none of these stats would be possible or valid without first the first step being quantifying your tops and bottoms this is the first thing you must do and that is what we had with the help of institutional quant traders okay with over 28 years of cumulative experience here at master the markets now that's the first thing, first step you must quantify tops and bottoms and remember another thing i must say is that these are all just stats okay this is just not your strategy yet after you get these stats, which are very powerful for constructing a sustainable, scalable, reproducible strategy, then you mix and match them and put it into formulating your strategy on a very strong concept and objective. Finally, you know, some of you still have any other um, questions about this indicator at all, we can always uh, contact us at client service at master the 
markets. Okay, traders, and also, as I said, you can put this across any instruments, the thousands of instruments are on trading view and across any time frames as well. Okay, right, traders, that's all from us for now on this video. And as we always say, till the next time, stay disciplined, follow your trading plan, and keep trading like a master. If you want to get notified every time we put a video up, especially on our live trading update videos, hit the subscribe button and turn on the bell notifications icon. This will get the YouTube elbows to kick in and for you to join us in our mission to spread the truth of trading further so that traders like you can benefit from our videos to trade like a master, achieve consistent performance and change lives.